Hello everyone, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are. Welcome to Active Energy. Today I'm going to show you guys how to draw a synchronized power and command three phase motor pump that can be commanded from one point with a pulsant of on and off. So in this diagram, right here on the top left, I have the RST, that is the three phase wire, one, two, three, that is one, two, and three, R, S, and T. Then if you come down, you see the R goes inside this fuse. The S goes inside this fuse and the T goes inside this fuse. Okay. And the exit of the fuse, you have this switch which has bobina. Bobina means coil. Okay. Then if you come down down the switch you have this thermical it's another switch that's going to intervene in terms of too much heat if the switch is overheated the as an is going to make the, the the switch to trip off then down the switch thermical you have your motor M, see the design, the symbol of the three phase motor. So you have your motor U, V, and W. That is the, the wiring diagram of a motor. So we call it motor asynchronous three phase. That is synchronized three phase motor. That is what it means. Then to get your command circuit, because here I just described the, the power circuit, which is the 380 volt. Then the command circuit, you have these two wires, because in this case we took the S and the T wires. Okay, so these two wires, the S and the T wires, that go into this transformer. This is transformer, a transformer that transforms electricity from 380 volt to 24 volts. It's a kind of step down. So, the, from the exit of the transformer, you now have two common wires that goes into the fuse. They went they, they, we, they were connected into the fuse to protect the, the command circuit in case of any high tension that is coming. Maybe if this transformer gets damaged and the high tension of 380 volts enters here. So the wires, let's say we indicate them with numbers. I don't know if you can see it very well. I indicated them with numbers. Here is number one. And here is number two, the second line. Okay, so let's now go to the command circuit. This command circuit, the first wire, remember we are discussing about circuit di potenza e di comando per motore asincrono tre fase, comandato da un punto, con pulsantiere, marcia, arresto. That is potential uh, circuit or power circuit and command circuit of an async of a, a synchronized three phase motor that is commanded from one point with pulsant of on and off. Okay. 
So here now we have three lamps. One is yellow, we call it giallo in Italian language. The other one is red, we call it rosso in Italian language. And the last one is verde, we call it green. The last one is green, sorry, and we call it verde in Italian language. So let's start from this wire one, this first wire. So you have this first wire from this fuse that comes down to this first lamp. Then from the exit of the lamp, you have another small wire that goes to the contact, the open contact of thermico, rele thermico. And remember, rele thermico in the in the power circuit is this. Okay, so in this power circuit in the rele thermico, thermica relay. Thermical relay in English. So you have to look for the normally open contact and connect your first wire of the lamp that exits from the lamp, the yellow lamp, to it. Then, in the same normally open contact, you get another wire that runs down and is connected to the second wire. Remember we have first wire and we have second wire that comes down like this. So like I said you have your from your first wire you join a wire that goes to the lamp the, the yellow lamp from the exit, that is the number two, the exit of the lamp, the yellow lamp, you connect it to the normally opened contact of the thermico, of the relay thermico. Okay, you find its normally open contact and you connect it there. Then, from the other end, because the normally open contact, it has to, it has to has two, two holes for the for two wires, right? So you connect the other wire, the other second wire that comes down here, as you can see. You connect it right here in the normally opened contact for the yellow lamp. The yellow lamp starts to know when the motor spoils. So whenever the, your motor gets fault, the motor, eh, this motor, okay, the pump, Whenever it gets uh, fault, any fault, the thermico will trip and this contact will close. Once it closes, the yellow lamp will on. And maybe from afar, or if you come close to the, to the motor, you will now see that the yellow lamp is on and something is wrong. And don't be scared about these numbers that you are seeing. For example, this 1, 2, and, uh, and this 97, 98. Because the relay thermico that I used in this motor is being numbered. So I have those numbers already for me to know the normally open contact and the normally closed contact in the relay thermico. Which, if maybe, for example, you didn't find this number in your own motor, in your own switches, you can test it with tester, okay? You try it with tester, putting it in ohms, in ohms regulation for you to know when the contact is open or closed. So let's go on. Also from the first wire, because this, I don't know if you can see it very well, my camera is shaking somehow. Okay, so this point that you are seeing here, it means joining so this point this point this point they means joining anywhere you see them this diagram they mean wine uh, wires that are joined together so from the first wire as well you have 
this wire that goes to to pull sand okay pm pull sand this pull sand serves as a starting pull sand the pull sand that once you press it i am going to show you if you press this pull sand in italian language we say autoritenuta autoritenuta means it will give tension to this contact no it will come down here watch very carefully it will come down here see another this another pull sand here this is pulsante de march that is starting pull sand and this is pulsante de arrest to pa that is stopping pull sand so this stopping pull sand is closed so to on your machine to on your machine if you press this starting pull, pull sand that is pulsante de march eh? you close this it the tension comes down here sees that this pull sand is closed so the tension passes and gets to this and gets to this uh, this coil it's a it's relay it's relay so if it gets to this coil the a1 a2 it passes it okay and uh, meets another contact that is closed this contact is thermical contact relay thermical so he sees that it closed and he gets to the second wire getting to the second wire means that the motor will on okay so by owning this motor watch very carefully by owning this motor this contact that is normally open here will close it is going to close because it's contact k1 i don't know if you can see it very well my camera is shaking okay so this contact is k1 right and this relay is k so is contact this contact that is open here is from this is from this bobina is from this coil from this relay so once you press this pulsante de march that is the on pulsant it will give tension like i explained to you the motor will on and this contact that is open here will automatically closes it will automatically close because contact works this way if you on a motor huh? the normally open contacts of the related relay uh, uh, switch will close and the normally closed contact will open okay so by pressing this pull sand as i said we make this uh, contact to close closing this contact means that it will now remain closed once it closes it will now remain closed whereby your pull center the match eh, returns open but even if it returns open remember that here remains closed so there is tension that continues from here down here and your motor is working okay so your motor your motor is on so your motor is on and if the motor is on as i said the lampada rosso which has normally open contact remember that i explained to you that contacts works this way that once you press you closes the pull sand and the motor is on all the related open contact will close and the, all the related close contact will open meaning that if i close here and it gives tension down and this one automatically close and remain closed because is k1 is the same k okay so they are related it means that this same contact here k2 is going to close as well 
Okay, and once it closes, what will now happen is that this lamp that you are seeing here, which is Lampada Rose, so the red lamp will on. This red lamp is going to on to show you or somebody that comes around that the motor is on, that there is danger. So that is why this red lamp is going to on. Then this red lamp is going to on and it will remain on because this contact will remain closed. Whereby the other contact that is K3 that normally it was closed but because the motor is on it will now open okay being open means that this lamp the green lamp lampada verde is going to off because there's no there's no continuation when this one closes this one closes and this one opens the lamp automatically we're off okay so let me just repeat so that maybe you get it right if you press the pm percent de march that is the on percent it closes here and gives tension down to the coil once the coil gets tension every contact that relates to this contact this coil if you can see it very well the a1 a2 k coil every contact that relates to them that is this k1 k2 k3 all of them will change their form this one is normally open it will close and remain closed this one is normally opened it will close and remain closed this one is normally closed it will open and remain closed and remain open sorry until until somebody goes to or you go to press this percent this percent if you can remember is percent the arrest arrest means stop so stop percent once you press it it will open every closed contact and close every open contact okay so by pressing it remember that this contact remained closed because this one was pressed before for the motor to start so pressing this one will now reopen this contact reopen this one and recloses this one the way it was at the initial stage so by so doing means that this green light will on again showing you that there is no danger the lampada verde v so the green light will reopen again showing you that there is no danger the red light the red light is going to off indicating to you that there is no motor on and the yellow light will remain off as well because there is no damage in the thermico okay so if now for example there is an overload in this case if there is any overload the relay thermico is going to automatically trip off once it trips or it trips off if you can see even the even the diagram i indicated that is being connected is the because this is the contact of this relay thermico, relay thermi, uh, thermical relay. So once this contact opens, this this contact is going to close. By closing this contact, the lampada jala, which is the yellow lamp, is going to on, showing you that the motor has fault. So you now have to go and repair it. Okay. So and this is the short form of the diagram that is called circuito di potenza e di comando per motore asincrono tre fase comandato da un punto con pulsantiere marcia arresto. 
Okay, that is the power circuit and the command circuit of a synchronized three phase motor commanded from one point with pulsant of on and off. Okay, remember pulsant of on and off. So this is pulsant of on. Pulsant de match PM. And this is the pulsant of off. Pulsant de arrest. Okay. So by pressing this pulsant, let me go through it once again. You press this pulsant PM. It closes this con contact. Automatically closes this one. And you have tension. And the motor is on. Okay, because getting down here, we are connected to the second line. So the motor is on. And once the motor is on, all the open contacts are going to close. Which means that this contact of red lamp is going to close and all the closed contacts are going to open which means that this yellow lamp the contact is going to open and the yellow lamp will off thereby if you now go to stop the motor pulsante de arrest if you press this pulsant the motor this contact will open this will open and this contact that was closed because this one was closed it will now reopen again okay this will reopen this will reopen and this will close back and the lamp will on and this red will off and that is how it functions thank you very much for listening remember to comment Remember to like, share, and subscribe if you've not done so. Thank you and see you in our next lesson. Bye.